All right, this is a tutorial on bullet impact logic. This is basically a tutorial on when a bullet impacts a surface, it will spawn a decal on that on the angle of the of where it hits. So I'll show you a quick demonstration. All right, so if you shoot, uh, you can't see. Of course, it goes into the dark. Say so it spawns on that angle. All right. So wherever it hits, it will spawn on that angled surface. All right, that didn't really hit. All right, so that's what we got. This is an this is basically an intermediate tutorial, not a beginner friendly, but I'll you know I'll go over as I'll make it as beginner friendly as possible. All right, so let's go over to the logic. Alrighty, so let's uh. I'm just going to show the logic quickly and then I will delete it and then I'll build some of it, not all of it. All right, this stuff, uh, we don't need this. Out of there. All right, so basically, we're emitting an object, we're emitting this object, it's our ball. And this is our logic. This is the laser scope. When it hits something, it emits. It has a combiner, hit in position, hit surface, plugged into these two, same exact. Transform. Just showing it really quick. So anyone that just wants to see how it's done like that. And again, this output goes into this transform right here. And then you have hit something, emits the object, hit something, deletes the object. Well, it deletes the bullet, emits the decal. All right, that's basically all there is for that. Um, I have the, oh, this is our decal. Nothing, no logic on that really. And then again, these are just set to object, object, all that's set to object, and the laser scope is when it hits an object. All right, so let's build that now. So I'm going to keep the bullet, and I'll explain like the actual laser scope stuff, because that's the most important thing, the laser scope and this. This the decal. So, all right. So let's go into our bullet. This would be on our bullet. Any bullet, you know, this is just a big bullet. So let's go into our gadgets. We're going to go into sensors and inputs, and then we're going to go into laser scope. All right. First, let's set the laser scope up. All right. So with our laser scope, we want this. If you click on this or open it up, it will show this. And this is where we want it to want it to emit straight. So you want it to emit basically in the middle of the object. So I'm gonna grab this and then right in the middle. Alright. Again, testing purposes doesn't need to be perfect. Yours probably does, mine doesn't. So we can open we can move this back. Again, this depends on how fast the object is going. So sometimes it doesn't, you know, I'll show you maybe some different little uh, variations of it. All right, so that's good. All right, so, so when it hits something, we're gonna want it to emit an object. And we're gonna go into the movers and outputs, and we're gonna go into emitter and a destroyer. So when it hits something, it's going to emit it, it's gonna power it on, and then it's going to destroy the bullet. So we have that. But now we need to know where do we want it to spawn. So we want it to spawn. We need this combiner. We need a combiner. And this combiner is going to help us. So if we open this up, transform. It's going to turn this into a hit position and hit orientation. And that's really simple because if you pull this up and you go into this last tab, it has 
hit position, plug it in the same spot, and hit orientation. Hit surface orientation, that one is. All right, so, and then there's the output. Output, oops. Oh no, my bad. Uh, oh, we're over here. The combiner output will open this up, and on the second tab, this will go into the transform. And then if you will hover over it, it will say this at the end. This way you can dictate where the object is emitted from, what direction it's facing in, and how big it is. All right, but we're not going to about the big part. All right, so we have that. Let's go back to our emitter. We don't want this emitter emitting at any speed. Uh, time between emits. We just want one. And uh, let's L1 square will open this up. And we just wanted like three seconds, basically. All right. All right, so now we just, the only thing we need to do here now is create the actual uh, decal. And I'm not going to make it look any, I'm not going to look pretty or anything like that. I'm just going to make a quick little decal. So, so going to modes, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, all right, I want to sculpt, and I want this to just stamp, and I want this to just, just drop it right there. All right, so I'm going to make, now I'm going to go into paint, and this, we're going to paint our decal. We're going to make our decal uh, black, all right? And then we're going to want it to, oops, this over here, uh, surface snap, all right? So basically I'm just going to make like a kind of a, an ugly decal, but like kind of like an X, all right? Again, mine doesn't need to be pretty, but I'm sure yours does. But this is again, just for testing purposes. So now I use that. So now if I click on this, I can pull this up, you know, so there we go. So I want to show you a problem here. So if I just use this, right, it looks like it's good, right? If I take this and I drag this here and I admit that, what should happen here is it should work, right? I mean, I thought it would work. Whoa, that's not good. Why does that happen? What did I just do? Um, when I fired it, why did it do that? This is transform. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. that transform why is it doing that uh, that's weird oh you know why I know why because our laser scope I showed that in the beginning but it did not show it here we don't want it to it's basically hitting detecting scenery or unlabeled whatever it is but you need to just have object all right so it's like spawning right when I'm shooting the object. So, of course, it went to the dark one. So, now if you notice, it's not spawning like where it should, like at the surface. It's just spawning, like kind of sticking out. That's not what we want. And I thought that would work with the paint, but I, I guess that's, I don't know if that's a bug or something, but an easy fix for that is, and that's why I actually have this sculpt here, is you can, if you spawn the sculpt down, what we need to do is you need to go back into here and you need to unemit this. So if I just group these two things together, sorry. Oh, those are grouped together. All right. And what you can do is you can make this, uh, and I'm going to just leave it um, visible, but you would, you know, make it invisible and uh, uncollidable. All right, but I'm going to just make it smaller. All right, again, it doesn't need to be perfect, just for testing purposes. So now that these are together, right? Yep. We could open this up and you want to make sure that you admit that you don't admit the admit the top part. All right. And it still will, will come together. All right. So now it should work. If I shoot that, boom, look at that. 
goes onto the surface, whichever angle, exactly what you want. And again,